Here is a tip to uh, help you finish your Invisalign cases. This tip is good for beginner practitioners with Invisalign, but also even for experienced orthodontists with Invisalign. It's something that you can miss. Uh, here I have a case when I click this. This is where the patient is now. It doesn't matter how they started. I want you to look at the upper right three, tooth number six. You see how the mesial has to rotate out. That's what we need to do to finish the case. Now, maybe you think it needs to come out a little bit more. This is not going to be talking about overcorrection. That looks reasonable. But when you look at it carefully, in this view, there's a tiny bit of extrusion, but even more so and less necessary. If I toggle back and forth, it's very subtle. But do you notice how the incisal edge is moving distally? And look at the root. The root is slightly moving mesially. That makes a simple movement a complex movement. And whenever you can, you want to rotate teeth or tip them and try not to have to put, in this case, mesial root torque. So to eliminate that, I will just make a modification where I will allow that tooth to rotate mesial out, but I will remove any teeny bit of extrusion. So now it's not extruding and it's rotating. Maybe I'm going to just, I want to make that root be exactly the way it is now. There, that's a pure rotation. It will still do what you need it to do in the mesial out aspect. But now you're asking less in a root angulation dimension, and the case will not suffer. Here's where the patient is now, and that's where we're going to be. And in fact, even look at that lower canine. I now lo no longer have to intrude that because I'm not extruding the upper. So I'm going to put that where it is. And there we go. Simple tip.